The birds are singing, the bees are buzzing in the trees. All you hear in this beautiful garden is the peaceful sound of the streams and the cheerful breeze dancing with the leaves. Today, we're in the Nyovaron garden. We're going to learn a little bit more about the palaces that have been built here. The Nyovaron Palace Complex is located in the northern part of Tehran. The whole area is 11 hectares with several outstanding museums. The history of this palace goes back to about 280 years ago when Fatali Shah Qajar asked for a summer residence to be built for him in this area. Our first stop was the main Yavaron Palace, a great architectural structure in the northeast of the garden. This palace was first built for royal ceremonies and gatherings, but later turned into the home of Iran's second king of the Pahlavis, Mohammad Reza Shah and his family. The whole palace is adorned with magnificent plaster work, mirror work and tile work all created by the skillful hands of Iran's greatest masters. The structure of the entire palace is a blend of pre and post Islamic art. With an area of 9,000 square meters, this palace was built back in 1957 during the reign of Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. It's packed with rooms that are beautifully decorated and furnished. And let's not forget about the sliding ceiling, which acts as an air conditioner and also brings in more light. In one of the halls, royal gowns and precious fabrics delivered from Asian and European countries catch the eye. Elegant needleworks and embroidery by Iranian masters from different parts of the country are also put on show here. In every corner of the building, some great work of art catches the eye. Precious paintings and sculptures by Iranian and foreign artists are everywhere. Other parts of the palace are dedicated to the pricey gifts and fancy souvenirs of different countries. This part of the palace draws many visitors in every year. So right now we're going to see the Sahib Qaraniya Palace which was built about 167 years ago. This is where the last of the Persian kings lived and also entertained their royal guests. Today we're going to see some great artworks here and also Iran's architectural beauty. It was in 1850 that Nasser Shah ordered to have this palace built in two floors, including Shah Nashin, known as the formal reception area, and the Host Khane, a more informal gathering place for the Shah and his guests. The Host Khane is a one-of-a-kind splendor, a great architectural construction that is adorned with intricate paintings all around and masterful brush strokes. The windows are decorated with colorful glasses that add splendor to the beauty of the palace. Even the doors in this palace are truly a work of art. The delicate paintings on the doors and the choice of colour are truly mesmerising and perhaps this is one of the reasons that makes this palace different from the rest. The pictures on the walls here are also interesting. In some of these pictures, Nasser Eddin Shah has taken photos of himself when he was here in this palace. In 1976, a section in the western part of the Sahib Qaraniya Palace was designated to the souvenirs received and items purchased by the Pahlavi family. The works displayed here range from prehistoric sculptures to modern paintings by Iranian artists and foreign painters such as Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali and Paul Gauguin. این مجموعه شامل چهار تا سالن هستش که در سالن مرکزی تعدادی از تابلو نقاشی و حجم‌های ایرانی نگه داشته میشه از سر هنرمندان بنامی چون سهراب سپهری، پرویز تنابولی، بهمن محسس و آثار تاریخی که مربوط به دوره تاریخی و پیش از تاریخ میشن بقیه سالن ها از سر هنرمندان اروپایی و آمریکای لاتین هستش که در معرض نمایشه there's a story behind everything, and great works of art are never-ending narratives. Stories that shed light in a world so dark. 
So let's begin at the beginning. Let's make some light. Kodalesgi for Iran. 